Now you listen here, boy. You get in your car, turn back around, hightailed out of here before you get yourself hurt. Now go on. Go on, get out of here, boy. Go on. Go on, get. Get. You know what really, really makes me angry when I think about the... I mean, even though we're still going through racism now, the thing that makes me the most angry, that little... That little skit I just did, that little 10, 15 second skit I just did. A lot of black men were talked down to like that by racist white men. These racist white men believe that even black men were boys. They did not respect them. They did not treat them as human. They treated them like they were dogs. Actually, dogs got treated better than black people majority of the time, especially black men. I can't even begin to imagine how it was to be a black man in that day i mean you could imagine but i wouldn't even want to begin to imagine because you had emmett till who was murdered he was brutally murdered for supposedly whistling at a white woman who later on on her deathbed confessed to lying about that they dragged that boy out of his house a 14 year old boy out of his house like he was a man and they beat him so badly that his own mother could not recognize his face. I don't care what people say about let the past go. I would be happy, more than happy to let the past go if the past was the past. But in this age, in this day and age right now, we are seeing even more racism than we have ever seen at all. And that says a lot. At least it's my opinion. Maybe your opinion, you were saying it's just it's bad. But I lived in a time, like I said, I was born in, in, in 1979. And as a kid of the 80s, as a teenager, adolescent of the 1990s, the mid-90s, into the 2000s, I know racism did exist. I know people had hate in their hearts because I used to watch, you know, watch talk shows and stuff like that. We'd have these racist people coming on trying to put their point of view out there and pr trying to prove their point about why they are racist and why it's good to be racist. And they, they, they supposedly don't hate anybody. They just want to be separated. OK, and I never seen this this agenda that goes on now, as I've stated in many videos. So in the time that I was growing up, it wasn't as bad. But in this day and age now, it's really bad. Number one. You got racist people who've had racism in their hearts and hatred in their hearts for a long time, holding it dormant, are now unleashing it and let it, letting it run amok, run, 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 uh, run amok and run wild, so to speak, on everybody who's not them. And the fact that they are knowingly, willingly understanding now, because they are really believing it now, because they know it's to be true, that their numbers are going to be dwindling very soon, and their existence is at a threat's end, you know, a threatening stage, they're going to do everything they can to ensure that they do not die out. They're going to continue to initiate this agenda of interracial dating. They're going to continue to endorse the channels that do this agenda for them, that do the work for them. And you know who they are. They're, go they're also going to continue to endorse these people in the black community who hate their own people and throw them under the bus. But see, the funny thing and I'm saying it's funny because it's funny to me. The funny thing about these people who are going to throw these th their people under the bus, they're going to be thrown under the bus as well when their services are no longer needed by the dominant society who have hatred for black people. And I'm not talking about every white person. I'm talking about the white people out there who have hatred in their hearts for black people and everybody else who ain't white. Those people who, these black people who the black community calls coons and sambos and stuff like that, that's the, that's the name they use. I'm just using the name they use, not using it on my own. But that's the word that they use for these people. They're going to be used until they can no longer be used and then they're going to be thrown away like trash. Trust me on that. Now, I'm going to tell you like this. I have stated numerous times that this channel is to show my love for black women. That's why my name is Lethal Loves Black Women. And also to show you Images of black love to speak on black issues that affect us black people, black men and women and children, the black community as a whole. And you have channels on YouTube that have a, spe a specific purpose. You have some black people on YouTube that are all about degrading black women and 
other channels that are talking bad about black people. And I'm not talking about the racist white people out there that are doing it. I'm talking about people in our community that are having dedicated channels to this. Complaining about women all day, degrading black women, calling black women ugly, uh, bashing them. Uh, black women who uh, exclusively date white men. Black women who, you know, care more that other men of other communities desire them than their own men. Because they believe that no man in their community desires them at all, which is just fucking stupid. And of course, we have the Beyond Black and White channel, who you know that is run by, okay? If there's channels out there that are going to endorse this type of behavior, if there's channels that are going to be endorsed for doing this type, for practicing this type of behavior, then I'm going to be the channel out there that combats those particular types of mindsets and behavior. If you can have a channel that is dedicated to swirling, telling black women to get with white men especially, do not fucking tell me that it's about Asian and Arab men and other men. I don't want to hear it. The majority of the men that they want these black women to be with are white men. If there's channels like that out there that are dedicated to that, then God damn it, my channel is dedicated to what is against that. And that's black love. And I don't have to implant little fucking ideas in your head. Because see, when something is natural, most people won't fight against that. Why do you think that so many black women out here have a problem dating white men? Some, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Some black women out here are going to gonna tell you that they're not attracted to white men, but they think that one or two white men, movie stars or whatever, may be attractive. But that's where the that's where it ends. They're not going to go that extra mile and date that person or want to procreate with that person or even have a relationship with that person. They can say, oh, this man is good looking and they can move on with their lives. And I could do the same. I could look at an Asian woman and say, oh, she's beautiful and whatever, and I can move on. I don't need to want her. I don't need to want to be with her or have sex with her or have children or family with her at all. And that's why many black women, even though you got black women out here who are falling for this bullshit swirl because they're falling for what relationships were wrong, what relationships were wrong in their life. And the people that are telling them to get with white men are preying on those particular emotions because those relationships went bad. The same thing that black men are doing with black men who had bad relationships with black women. They're doing that preying on the emotions of the bad experiences that these people had in their relationships with people in our community. And that is really some downright dirty shit, to tell you the truth. And that's how I feel about it. But what I'm saying is, that's why it's so very hard for many black women to even fathom being with a white man or any other man outside their community. Because they know in their heart that it's wrong. They know in their heart that it's not natural. And for the black men out there that do this, they're thinking with their penises instead of thinking with their heads. They don't look at the history of seeing how black men lost their lives being with women who are not black. You want to tell me about black men losing their lives over black women. Not every black woman is a hoe, as you want to call her. Not every black woman is a B or an NB. I'm not going to say what that stands for. Just use your imagination. But not every black woman is going to send a black man to jail unless there's a real good reason for that black man to go to jail. Yes, they have some really deceitful black women out here. They have some really downright dirty ass black men out here as well. Call it what it is because we have them in our community. When you're cheating on a woman, you think she's going to just allow you to continue to doing that. And, when, and if she does, then something's wrong with her. She has a low self-esteem. The same thing goes with a black man who may be with a black woman who's super hot, super good looking, maybe like a, a fucking model like Naomi Campbell. If she's cheating on you with other men, don't sit there and take that. Leave. Don't resort to killing the person or going crazy and doing something stupid that gets you in trouble. But we don't look at this. We just are continuously watching channels that are preying on our emotions and telling us what we want to hear to make us feel better and as you I, I said this before i said this before you keep on listening to these people long enough and they will eventually fuck your mind literally fuck your mind they will twist your mind the the, the way that you thought they will make you feel the same way and think the same way that they do that's why that woman over there on beyond black and white has so many followers don't tell me it's about all the black men out here doing this and doing that because some of these black women have daddy issues because these black men did not stand up and step to the plate as, as men and i understand that 
some of these black men have mommy issues because believe it or not they got some bad black mothers in the community and i'm not getting on single black mothers i'm talking about there are some black mothers out there and i'm glad i don't have i didn't have that experience but there are some black men out there that have had mothers with that that they've you know that that have not wanted them that have treated them like shit that maybe had crack addicts for mothers some people have crack addicts for fathers I had that crack issue in my family when I was a kid. Somebody in my family died from that a long time ago. So there's different types of reasons why people are falling for this okie doke shit. But that shit that I said in the beginning, we had to deal with that. Our people had to deal with that. They had to deal with that when they were going to the blacks only section where the water fountains were. They had to deal with that because they were trying to be integrated with these people. At this point, I don't think integration is a good idea because it's looking worse and worse now for this country than it's ever looked in its life. I've never seen the attacks on black people as bad as I've seen it now. I've seen attacks on black people before, yeah. But this shit of calling the police on black people for no reason, just to get them killed by the police. Black people continuously getting murdered by white people. I'm not saying that black people don't kill too. They kill, we kill each other and that sucks as well. I don't like that we do that, but white people kill each other as well. They kill each other more than we kill them. And they get off for murdering us. It's like they can kill us, but they can go home. Meanwhile, the family of the victim who was murdered by that person has to suffer and grieve because justice has not been served for them. Justice has been served to the person that committed the crime. And that's not the justice system as far as I'm concerned. There's a lot of things that is wrong that I'm seeing as I have said. And I know you people are getting tired of me saying as I've said. I've said everything. That's why I keep on saying as I have said. Because I've said almost every fucking thing on this channel and on my, video, like, on my, on my other videos that were shut down on that other channel. And I told people this, the reason why that other channel is gone is not because of white people. You can say YouTube because you got white people running YouTube, okay? But the people who took down my channel, the first one I had that had 6,000 subscribers going strong, were black men who didn't like the fact that I was stepping up to plate as a black man myself and telling them to love, respect, and protect their women. And stop acting like babies. Now, of course, these are the black men that support people like Tommy and support the mindset that the black women ain't shit, and the black women are definitely the community. Those are the ones that always came to my videos. Those are the ones that always want to threaten my life and say, oh, I'm going to come and find you. I'm going to kill you. You're going to kill me because I'm making a video about me loving black women. You're going to call me a simp because I love black women and you don't. You're going to call me every name in the book and threaten my life because I am doing something that you as a black man should be doing already. If you are being oppressed by the dominant society as a black man, why would you in turn take the oppression that you are getting from your from, from these men and from the community, from that community uh, as a whole? Why would you take that and give it to the black woman? Why would you put the oppression on her? That's not right. We're in this together. We only have each other. Some of you still think that there are other people outside this community that are going to help you get out of the situation that you're in, and you are truly mistaken. It's not going to happen. The only way that you're getting through this situation is on your own, and if you take the reins of power in our community, meaning you take the stand as a leader and lead, all of us men can lead. We can all have voices. But we can't, well, I'm, I'm, let me rephrase that. Not all of us can be leaders because some of us are picked by the people. And if we have too many leaders, there'll be no followers. But if we all take the initiative to try to change the way that we do things, we'll be better off. For the black men out there that are hunting down white women as their mates. And for the black women out there that are going to Italy and other countries where white men are dominant over there, where they are the majority. You're already lost. You're already sad. And you'll dislike the video because I'm telling you the truth. You'll shake your head and say, no, you're not telling the truth. You're just a racist asshole. I'm not racist at all. I'm not. I don't believe that black people are better than white people. But I believe that we've contributed a hell of a lot to society more than anybody else. And a lot of things that we have contributed to society, society continues to use to this day. 
But they don't give us credit for it, of course, because they want to believe they want people to believe that they've done everything. And black people just sitting around doing nothing but being slaves all day. And that's not fucking true. It's not. They were the ones sitting around while slaves were working their asses off. They were the ones who were jealous of us doing our own thing in Black Wall Street, making our own crops and vegetables and having our own businesses and having our own boats and movie houses and having respectable children going to school in suits and uniforms. Doing our thing. But then some, if I say what I want to say, I'm going to get, I'm going to get flagged, but a, 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 a white lie, a white lie. And I'm not being racist when I say a white lie, because that's something that people use. A white lie caused the destruction of the black community in Tulsa, Black Wall Street. This is when we were separated. Now we've been integrated so much that many black people are so damn lazy and I'm saying lazy when it comes to depending on themselves. They depend more on their mama and daddy from the dominant society to take care of them. And that is a problem. That's why many of them push back when you talk about interracial dating or talk about being segregated again. Because they have been used to this comfort zone. They don't want to get out of it. It's just the way it is. So ladies and gentlemen, this is just some of my thoughts today and uh, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. I'll talk to you soon because I'm going too far in this video too long and I got to get ready to go to work. So I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for listening. God bless you all and please remain safe in this crazy world we live in.